The numbers are staggering. Are staggering. Each week it is estimated that dozens of children are backed over by cars in parking lots and driveways. Just this Easter Sunday in Texas, a one-year-old boy was killed when he was backed over in the family driveway. Consumer correspondent Susan Copen is here with some important safety information. Susan, good morning. Good morning, Harry. So far this year, at least 17 children have died after being backed over. And April is the peak month for these accidents because the weather is turning nice and more and more kids are outside playing. Here we go. He was endlessly happy. He always had a smile on his face. There are a lot of great memories of him. And we think about what he would be doing today. Alec. Alec Nelson was just 16 months old when he lost his life in his family's driveway. By the time I got to Alec, I already knew he was gone. Alec had been backed over by an SUV. His grandfather was behind the wheel. There was a little dip in the driveway where there was a hill, and that's what he thought he had hit when he felt a bump. It's been very, very tough for him. <gasps> in 70% of backover accidents, it's a family member who's driving. In Alex's case, his grandfather had no idea the little boy was behind the car, even after he had checked his mirrors. My father said he wakes up every morning thinking, you know, about what happens. We live in a... Uh, Dead End Street, you know, purposely we thought it was a, a very safe place for our kids to raise them. And never in my wildest nightmares would I think that we would lose a child on our property. According to experts, 50 children a week are backed over by cars and two children die. Most victims are between 12 and 23 months. Do you think you would be able to spot a small child behind your car? Look in the mirrors of this SUV. Nothing out the back? Nothing out the side, but take a look at this. We have more than 60 kids sitting behind our car. So two kids a week are killed. Susan Oriema is with Kids in Cars, a nonprofit safety organization which tracks back over accidents. Don't back blind. See the children. This blows my mind, and I've seen this before. I've seen it over and over again, and I still am a little bit in awe of the fact that the blind zone is so large. 60% of backover cases involve a larger vehicle, like a van, SUV, or truck. According to Kids in Cars, minivans have an average blind zone of up to 28 feet. For SUVs, it's 39 feet. And for trucks, it can be a whopping 50 feet. Parents need to be aware of certain things. They need to teach their children that a parked car can become a reversing car in a minute. Oriema says backup cameras can help spot children or toys in a driveway. But parents should always take extra steps when backing up. Before they get into their vehicle, they always want to walk around the car, make sure it's free and clear, and always continue to use your mirrors as you're backing up. Scan the area as you're backing to make sure no child enters that blind zone. Alex's death has changed the way the Nelson family drives. Both of their cars now have backup cameras, and the family helped pass Alex's law, which requires car dealers in their county to pass out safety information to buyers. This can happen to anyone, and it has nothing to do with negligence. It has nothing to do with not being an attentive parent. It has everything to do with not being able to see behind you when you back up. And his grandfather is so distraught, he has never talked publicly about the accident. Safety experts say it's important for parents to teach their kids that a driveway is a place for cars, not for kids. And many of these accidents happen during the holidays because of so many family gatherings, Harry. And we saw that in Texas on Easter. Mm -hmm. That picture is so stunning with all of those kids. How many kids did you have lined up behind that? We vehicle? started with 70. Right. Some of them ran out. So, but it was more than it was more than 60 kids. Kids but what needs car. to be kept in mind, it's not just reverse, it's in front of the car or in front of the vehicle as well, right? Right. The blind zone in front of a car is between six and eight feet. And I've done stories with parents who have, you know, driven forward yeah. and, and killed their child. So it's something you have to think about front and back and walk around your car. Make sure you can see your kids. They're off to the side before you start to, you know, back up or pull forward. Well, Susan Copen, thanks so much. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.